A kind of science fair today at the World Trade Center building in Lower Manhattan, drawing bright minds from schools in New York and New Jersey. They're taking their knowledge in science and technology, engineering and math, STEM, and trying to create a robot that will run up and down the catwalks on the side of the Holland and Lincoln tunnels. Why, you ask? To help first responders. But the winners also have something at stake, money. Here's Live News reporter Lindsay Tuckman. Surrounded by the magnificence of New York's unparalleled infrastructure, young innovators show off their feats of engineering. Being here um, with this robot, like at the 102nd floor of World Trade, is, is kind of Im immense. Hosted by the Port Authority at the One World Observatory, 20 regional high school student teams competed Wednesday to design a robotic machine to run on the catwalks in the Holland and Lincoln tunnels. Maybe you've seen them. Small paths alongside the tunnel walls that once were used by first responders, but have been defunct since 2011 for safety reasons. The best way to think about this is to open it up, to get some new ideas, get some fresh ideas, and then inspire ourselves to, to try some of those out. Jenna Forte and her team from Bergen County Technical High School invented the Holly robot. It can address a variety of issues like vehicle and mechanical issues, such as if a car runs out of gas or if they need any tools. And for Kaylin McManus of Gaynor McGowan Expeditionary Learning School on Staten Island, being a part of the competition was inspiring in many ways. I want to be an example to other women that this is something they can do in the STEM field because it's a very male dominated field. The winning team members will receive a $750 cash prize for their school's STEM programming, along with the possibility of their design being adopted by the Port Authority. And who won? Bergen County Technical High School of Teterboro. The team that developed the Holly robot. The Port Authority plans to hold this contest again next year with a different problem needing to be solved to make sure those that will use the city's infrastructure in the future have a hand in making it run.